Now you need to find out what are the physically acceptable wave function and what are the conditions of physically acceptable wave function. So the wave function and its first derivative, they must be finite. What does it mean? Why the wave function must be finite and why the first derivative of the wave function must be finite. So, and also the wave function must be single value. Means that if for any, you have been given X and T value and psi, which is a function of X and T, they must have a unique value and they must have finite value. It is not infinite that it is infinite means where function is infinite means it can be, uh, it is not a realistic model. So you cannot do the probability. You cannot do the mod square to find out that you can normalize the wave function to one. So you cannot ensure the finding out the particle uh, uh, in a space is completely one. So this is unrealistic model. So that's why you need to ensure the wave function should be finite. It should be squared integrable and it should be also single valued means that you only get a single value for the probability measurement for a given state. It is not like that. Uh, you have multiple values for the uh, finding out the particle. So that is unrealistic. So that's why we need to ensure the wave function should be finite. Its first derivative should be finite and also its single value. What do you mean by square integrable? That I have already told you that the wave function must be square integrable. So mod square uh, uh, of psi should over all the space must be finite. So it is the, just an, another way of saying that it must be possible to use mod psi square as a probability density. And uh, since for a over in, if you integrate over a space, all space, it will give us a value one, which is clearly not possible if the integral of mod psi square is infinite. And the consequence of this proposal is that must tend to zero for infinite distances. So that's of, uh, that's a one way of ensuring that your wave function is uh, real valued. Your wave function is not any unrealistic uh, representation of a particle. So why you need to need a wave function to be continuous? So suppose your wave function is rapidly changing at a particular point, and the change is very large either a very large positive value or a very large negative number. So in this limit, suppose your wave function is a safe function. And at the safe function means that if you try to find out the derivatives, first order derivative of the wave function, it will imply an infinite derivative because it is a discontinuity in a point, at a point. Now, how do you represent the momentum of a wave function? Momentum of a wave function is represented by first order derivative of the wave function. So if the first order derivative is infinite, means the momentum is infinite. Doesn't make any sense. So no particle can have infinite momentum, which is not possible for physically realistic system. That's why you need a continuous wave function to make sure that the first order derivative should also be continuous. Suppose your first order derivative is also discontinuous. discontinuous. So your first order derivative has a discontinuity. So if you take the derivative of the first order uh, of the uh, wave function, so you take the second order derivative of the wave function, and if the first order derivative is discontinuous, then second order derivative will give us discontinuity, which will give us infinite value. Second order derivative of the wave function is directly related to energy. So energy of the system will be infinite if the first order derivative is discontinuous. That is also not physically realistic. So the, all the first order derivative of the wave function must be continuous. All the wave functions must be continuous so that the wave function must be continuous to make sure its first order derivative is continuous. The first order derivative should be continuous make sure, to make sure the second order derivative should also con consider, uh, uh, continuous. And these all are related to the momentum and energy of the particle and which should not be infinite since it is a physically realistic model. So these postulates are nothing but to ensure the wave function 
are representing a physically realistic particle, not any arbitrary um, non-realistic particle. Okay. So now I would like you to answer that this question. Uh, there are four graphs are here. So, one, so let us take this as a one, this two, three, and four. So this four graph, which one uh, for the psi is acceptable and which psi is not acceptable? 